everyone welcome back to another video and for this week's video we will be reviewing a lens so if you guys are wondering what lens i'm eyeing it's the 10 to 18. The, and this is for canon by the way if you guys haven't watched my canon m50 mark ii unboxing you should um here it is <laughs> that video was actually very special to me um it, it's something personal but it was quite special to me and also yeah so it's a canon and i've been eyeing that lens for a while now but then it's so hard to find and it's quite expensive here in the philippines like i checked on shopee like for those hong kong ones or like the china brand not really brand like um where it's based off and it's still quite expensive especially i'm a student and a small business owner it's you know it's quite hard to buy it at that price it ranges from almost eleven thousand to 17 plus so okay <laughs> and yeah so i decided to look for i just searched it on fb marketplace and looked for looked for um any similar lens or any option that's cheaper but still has the same quality and i found a sigma 10 to 22 i think or 10 to 20 uh lens and it looks very nice i also checked out um reviews and it looks and it looks and seems very good like there's there seems to be very good um reviews on it so i'm very excited for that uh, so I talked with my dad and then he he and I decided to get it tomorrow so I am very excited also I apologize if the um, quality of the audio is not so great I am using um, sec you guys I apologize for that I am so sorry um, I as I was saying I apologize for the sound quality because uh, I'm using my other camera and this one does not have a mic input and I'm not gonna lie the quality is not the best either in the internal mic so hopefully it doesn't sound too bad at this time but yeah so my dad and I are picking it up tomorrow it's quite far from where I live so um we're going to leave early morning around well not literally early early like not in the middle of the night but um around nine or something like that so yeah um i'll be taking you guys with me um the reason why i'm not filming on my canon m15 right now is because it's charging right now um all the batteries are charging so uh yeah and that's basically all I, I've got to say for tonight. I'm very excited. Um, and yeah, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, you guys. So I'm now done. Here I've got my outfit. Don't mind my messy background. Um, this is the backpack I'm using. Yeah, you can see my um, lip gloss over there. And yeah, so I'm now just waiting for my dad. And I'm ready to go. Hi, guys. We're in Katipunan. I, I don't know if I said it last night, but we're going to QC. So we are in QC now, but the place is in Novelicha, so it's quite far from here right now. Uh, yeah, we're by Ateneo, and yeah, so we're on the road. We're just listening to some music that I off right now because I might get copyrighted. And yeah, so I have my cameras, my camera, and uh, adapter in there my bag and yeah so we are all ready this is my dad by the way uh yeah so we're ready and yeah excited so after we get the lens we're gonna eat lunch because it's like 10 o'clock so yeah i'll see you guys later
So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my camera over here. So guys, this is how the lens look. Um, as you can see, I have an adapter because I am using a camera from the M series. So over here says Sigma, and then here the aperture and the millimeters. And yeah, so this is really nice, you guys. It's a little heavy, but that's totally fine with the quality. Okay, guys, so I have the lens and. If you guys are not noticing any differences because I haven't put it on yet. Um, so this is how the kit lens look. And this is the one with the 10 to 20 millimeter. I'm super happy with this lens and I'll review it further when I get home. of the lens this lens the sigma lens uh, sigma 10 to 20 yeah so i have been procrastinating to make this video for a while now so i decided while i don't have school i'm gonna go make this video basically um i'm not a tech professional but i do love cameras and like why i got this because like the kit lens is quite wide already but it's not wide enough to show everything well at least in my opinion so i was like you know i'm gonna look for something around 10 millimeters something like that so i found this even if i was eyeing the 10 to 18 at first but i decided to go for this one and this is working very well the autofocus is a little loud and it's a little heavy but that's okay because the quality is really nice so we're gonna go try this on but first a quick review uh yeah it's quite heavy um, here are the pros. So it's really fast autofocus. Um, it has very good quality. Um, I'm not a tech professional once again, so please correct me if I'm wrong with these things. Um, and then it also has a very wide focal length, which is very good. And the zoom is quite smooth. It has um, autofocus and manual focus, so that's great as well. So if you know you're having a hard time, you can just use manual focus. And for the cons, there you go, it's heavy. Um, the autofocus is a little loud, and I think that's about it when it comes to those. When it comes to the lens itself, uh, when it's connected to my camera, um, it's good. The only thing, my only problem is I need an adapter all the time. That's okay because even with my 50mm, I have to use an adapter. So yeah, now I'm going to put this in so I'll show you guys. So if you have the Canon M50 Mark II, you're gonna need 
the um, Viltrox or even the Canon original one, but this is a third party adapter, so it still works as well. And then you're gonna go ahead and grab your. I'm not in focus. Okay, so you're gonna go ahead and grab your lens, take off the, bo the body cap, and then take off the thing here if you're using the Viltrox. And then you're gonna align the two dots together where is it there this white dot with the other white dot i mean the red dot my bad so this is the red dot and this is the red dot on the veldrock so you're just going to align those two twist it um if you're facing this way you're going to twist it clockwise and if you're um, facing this way you're going to turn it counterclockwise okay so yeah it's connected now now Let's open it, and there you go. It's very, it's working very well. Um, yeah, basically that's all you have to do to have it work. Go change up your um settings and stuff like that. I just normally go to the video settings, and it's ready to film. So now I'm gonna go and show you guys the testing and how the focus works and what I'm saying, how it loud, how loud it is, and yeah, here we go. Okay guys, so this is how it looks. It's very pink right now, but that's on my camera settings. My lighting is not so great right now. Let me just change it real quick. Okay, I think this one is so much better. Okay, so as you can see, you can see a whole lot of my room now. This is only my bed part. And it's very great. So let me now show you guys the um, focus thing. So, so let's say I'm going to have this focused. As you guys can see, it focused real quick actually. Wait, is it on? There. I don't know if you guys heard it, but that is how it sounds. But it's very quick in focusing. As you guys can see, it does not do too well in low light, if you guys can notice. But yeah. So, also if you guys are wondering, this is the EF mount. That's why I need an adapter, because it's not an M mount. So, yeah, I love this lens, you guys. I'm finally gonna end this video because I have been editing it without it being actually finished. So, that's great. Uh, yeah, so, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for this quick review. Also, I'll show you guys how it looks like when it's fully zoomed in. This is the farthest it can go. It actually looks like the focal length of my other camera. This one. You guys can see if I put it next to me. It's gonna be like that far only. And this is my arm very extended. So yeah guys, I am very happy with this lens. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys on my next video where I'll actually be using this lens to vlog. So I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye! <laughs>